Installing Creature Kit Bash is extremely easy. As with most add-ons, you just go to Edit, Preferences, Add-ons, go to this little drop-down triangle here and go Install from Disk, navigate to where you've saved your zip file. Now, if you've bought the Ultimate Pack, which is the Beastly Bits and Insidious all bundled into one, simply double-click on this zip file, give it a brief moment to load in all the assets. It is loading in about half a gigabyte worth of models. After a brief moment, you should see the Creature Kit Bash add-on with the little check to say that it's installed properly, and you'll hopefully get a little pop-up over here under the Tools panel to show that this is the Creature Kit Bash interface. To get to the assets, simply open up a side panel here and go to the Asset Browser, and under the Libraries drop-down, find the Creature Kit Bash assets. And here you will have every single asset in the Ultimate Pack. If, however, you've bought the asset packs individually, you'll need to install them individually. So again, go to your Edit, Preferences, and over to the Add-on panel. Go to the Install from Disk. Navigate to where you've got them saved, and it shouldn't matter which order you install them. So let's install Insidious Insects first. Install from Disk. Again, give it a brief moment, and you'll see the little pop-up over here with the add-on installing. Again, let's open up a side panel here and go to the asset browser, find the creature kit bash assets, and you can see these are all the insidious insects models. If you've got a second pack, you can once again go install from disk. This time we'll install the beastly bits. Again, give it a brief moment, you'll see a little pop-up down here that says the modules are installed. Now you'll notice here that we haven't suddenly got all the Beastly Bits assets, and even if we open up this side tab here and hit Refresh, it won't make any difference. Unfortunately, this is a little quirk of Blender. Because we're trying to access the same folders here, it gets a little testy with us. The way you can solve this is either by closing down Blender and restarting it, that will bring the Beastly Bits assets back in, or we can go back to Preferences and simply disable the add-on, re-enable it, and this time when we hit the Refresh button, You'll see it takes a brief moment, but then it loads in a whole bunch of new assets. These are the beastly bits, and you can immediately start importing your assets to start sculpting your new creations.